guys, did you know that marriage comes with a, an IQ test that can be administered by your wife? It does. I loaded the dishwasher last night. That initiates the IQ test. And apparently from what my wife told me, I, uh, I may be developmentally challenged. Yep. That's not what we're here to talk about. It's Friday. Five fast. Five fast. Cool customs. Guys, you know what time it is. Turn down the volume. Here comes a little bit of music. It's Friday. We're going to do five cool customs, but first let's talk about this channel. This is Viva La Dirt. They do all kinds of video game logic things. This is Red Dead Redemption 2 logic. So like all the weird things that happen in the video games uh, that that kind of like they don't make any sense while you're playing it. Like why is this happening? And, and how come no matter what I do, I'm always the bad guy if somebody attacks me and I fight back. All those things, they parody all that stuff. Uh, even though Red Dead Redemption 2 is my favorite game ever, I think, they really do a pretty good job of pointing out all the little weird details and weird things in the video. So, like I say, I can't give them any money, but I can send them to you guys to give them a view. So, Viva La Dirt, I'll have a link to it down below. So, like I said, guys, five cool custom knives. I've got them laid out. There's not much else to say. Let's turn this around and take a look at it from above and just look at five really cool right, customs. Let's start taking a look at these customs. The first one we're gonna look at is a Graham fixed blade. Now, first thing first, the sheath on this is amazing. Um, I actually had this knife for a while. I sold it to my friend Tino. It was in on consignment. I was selling it for a guy. Um, so this is a Graham. It's not a Razel. I think this was called a GTF, a gentleman's fixed blade is what he called it. So super nice leather sheath set up for pocket slip so you can carry this in your right front pocket with a pocket clip with that down inside. So there's that really nice sheath, solid, solid. So this thing is got a mammoth tooth uh, handle, bottle opener in her back. This thing is, as you can see, it is a gram. Like I said, I think it's a GTF. Super deep hollow grind on this with that Tonto, really similar to a lot of the Razels and things like that. Nice straight edge. This thing is so, so sharp. Um, it is cool because like I said, you can just stick that in your pocket down in just like a regular folding knife. It doesn't actually stick up real far. Uh, it sticks up further than I would like, but a uh, full package, really, really nice. It cuts really well. And then, like I said, because it's got a bottle opener, it's just one of those things like, it's kind of cool. Uh, Matt bought this because he was going to a wedding and wanted a knife that had a bottle opener in it. He goes, geez, I gotta have that. He bought he bought this specifically to wear in a suit at a wedding. And he's like, you know, I could pop bottle, but you know, open bottles with that. I kind of thought it looked like a really un unhappy creature trying to make its way out of the sheath. It really does like, ah! So there you go, the first one. I Like I said, that is the Graham, I think, GTF. Next one is a Tough Thumbs, Tough Knives um, Tannic. This is a full custom. This is one of the first few that Jeff ever made. Everything on this is handmade except for the screws. Um, and I mean, just this comes, but this is from a time in the custom knife world where there weren't a lot of custom folding knives out there. This thing definitely does need sharpened. Um, unique, unique blade shape. But the fact was Jeff um, had this model that came out and then he did one that he called the switch, which was, it was just basically a bunch of different blade shapes and things like this. This was the first one he did that was just constant. So it's full titanium, all hand rock patterned, um, lock bar. Look at that lock bar cut out. You can see where it's been drilled and cut. So, you know, Jeff did, Jeff cut this all by hand. Great big pocket clip, huge copper backspacer. This thing is not light. So you have the fine rock pattern on the spine, then that heavy rock pattern on the blade itself. Jeff's logo. Action on this, for as weird as this knife, the action on this knife is really nice. Um, I have not lubricated or any, this or anything. So, it, I mean, it's not like drop shut. 
but it's just smooth and it just plies open. That's a unique blade shape. You've got like a Persian Tonto style thing going on. It's just really, really eye catching and, and really, I, I just, I like, I really like this knife and I don't know why there's like things about it. I shouldn't like it's not for me would not be really a functional knife. It's more of an art piece, but but then when you hold it, you're like, wow, it's just so, it's just so different than anything else that had been made at that time and even now. But yeah, Jeff does good work. Jeff's knives are really, really stellar. So there you go. The Jeff, uh, the Tough Thumbs Tannic by Tough Knives. Jeff, good, good job. Notice the theme. It's going to go fixed blade, folding knife, fixed blade. You see what I'm saying? Um, so this is a knife that is personally in my collection. This is a Morgan Custom Knives. Little Warncliffe done in, as you can see, ATS-34. Nice little it's Warney blade. It's kind of a recurve Warney. Hollow ground. Um, this as well has a nice little pocket clip. I do carry this knife in my pocket. Um because it, it sits nice and comfortable, and it is super, super light. Nice, nice sheath that's been hand-tooled. GRM on there. This thing is cool. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the knife real close. Mother of Pearl handles. Um, the, uh, art, the, like the artisanal pins, the mosaic pins. Um, red liner underneath the Mother of Pearl all that carving that's been done on it and then just look at how smooth everything is transitioned this is a really nice knife it's kind of dirty because it does get carried super super nice the way the bolsters come down marry right into that red liner um comes down and it is ground really thin this knife does get used a lot super polished blade there's his logo morgan the grind on it was done really well look at that um it's just a beautiful all-around knife. This is actually my daughter's knife. It's in my collection, but it's actually my daughter's. Um, this is a nice little small knife. File work on the spine. Just a beautiful, beautiful little knife that is still really functional and easy to carry. You know, really light, small little package. There you go. So there's your third one, that Morgan Warren clip. Next one is some is one that's kind of special. There's a story behind it. We were at uh, the California Custom Show. I had entered into a lottery for these knives. This is a Cope. This is a custom version of his SR33 that he did for Project Venturous, I believe. At any rate, this is a custom version of that. Um, I was in the lottery for it. My friend Tino really wanted one of the knives I had entered into the lottery to to win and found out I won this knife. Tino was super, super stoked. Um, he, I, he's like, bro, you got to go over like you won the knife. And I was like, well, do, do you want it? He's like, absolutely. So this is all hand done. This is a hand brushed anodized titanium handle. Pocket, this is all handmade. This is the ladder Damascus that it was done in. And it, it's got this patinaed look where it looks good there's the cope logo the action on this thing is incredible and it is just a really really beautiful fixed blade knife you can see that it's a it's a cord damascus so you have basically um that ladder that's on the top is a uh, it's just there for show it's a shell and then you can see the core steel that's in it all the way down to the edge takes a really really keen edge nice and thin comfortable in hand the pocket clip for me i'm not 100 percent sure but it, this is just a great great custom knife this is a full custom full custom coat folder man we got to meet ed the first time i ever met ed i got to see some of his knives um i i told him like how much better just even in a couple years how much better theirs are tom mayo him and tom mayo he's he's like tom mayo's apprentice so look at that just beautiful let's get that blade again man the pattern in that steel nice so there is number four ed cope 
custom SR33. Blade guys, I kind of like to toot my own horn every once in a while. I don't get to see my own work very often. Um, this is Tino's personal stonefish that I made for him. That is, that is what they call thunderstorm Kevlar um, that I torched. And then Nico actually took this and clear coated this with vehicle clear coat so that the, the Kevlar would stop coming apart. Rock pattern in the spine all the way down. Deep grooves cut in here on the on the flat here where it transitions into the bevel and then Tino decided he's like you know what I really want I want a tiger pattern and I was like you know how hard tiger stripe patterns are to get married up so I took the time I married everything up if you look that transition straight like they are as tight to each other from side to side as you're gonna get 20 CV uh, black ceramic coated hardware Kevlar is a nightmare to work with guys it's like imagine somebody just vacuum pressed um, fiberglass insulation together that's what it kind of feels like uh, it's just com it's like compressed fiberglass insulation as a matter of fact and then when we did it I learned a lesson um, to always torch color the uh, scales before you dimension them because I torched them after and as you can see the material kind of shrunk up and I wound up with a little bit of a warp here, a little bit of a gap. Um, but this was done at 20 CV. Hand, I, everything I did on this, I did by hand. I cut this out with an angle grinder. I did all of the work on this. This was not one that was, uh, this was not one of the ones that ever got water jetted out. This is one of the first ones that I really started doing and it was done all by hand. So that meant I cut this out with an angle grinder. I did all of this um, cut out and all that by hand. Nice, clean, even plunge all the way down. Nice distal taper. For a guy that didn't make very many knives and just didn't think he was very good at it, I look at him every once in a while. I'm like, that's, that's a pretty good freaking knife right there. And then it comes, it came, uh, it didn't come with this uh, sheath. I actually had this sheath made by uh, Armidus Carry. Still, if you can get an Armidus Carry sheath, probably one of the best Kydex sheaths out there. So there you go, guys. One of my knives finally on my channel that I get to kind of throw it out there. So that's it guys, that's five full customs for five fast Friday. So I will turn this around and we'll do some final thoughts behind the camera. Go, guys, that was five cool customs real fast. Um, some of them I know a lot about because I either helped with the purchase or owned them previously or made them. And then, you know, there's just the one that I, there's two of them I really don't have that information, that much information about. So. Um, they're probably a couple of these can get their own individual videos. I've already done a video about the cope. So guys, that's it for this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. Please try to tell me why. I can't change content if I don't know what you don't like. Um, if you want to support the channel, like I say, you know, with the support the channels you love thing, sometimes it's as simple as sharing it, sharing the channel and sharing content with people you think would also enjoy it. Um, the likes and best likes are also another way to support the channel. If you want to support the channel financially, there is a membership tab down below. It gets you in on exclusive content, exclusive videos, uh, exclusive giveaways, um, and, and some little things that I do. I did a movie night on Sunday, uh, movie day on Sunday, just little things like that. Um, there's all kinds of affiliate links and things down below where I duplicate the tools that I use for some of this stuff. If you need like Torx bits and things like that, there's affiliate links down below for that. Anything you purchase, even if it's not the item you clicked on, I still get credit for it. And I have the merch store, the Ember Shirt Co. merch store. So um, Ember Shirt Co. and the merch store, they take you to the same place. If you don't necessarily like my designs, you can look at some of the other stuff they have available. And I have a coupon code for you that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. It's crazy sharp, capital C capital S, all one word, crazy sharp, capital C, capital S. So saves 10% at checkout. Guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Keep it clean in the comments section. Please go follow the GoFundMes that I'm, I've been putting up. Uh, there's one for my friend Clinton Bell. There's still the one for Jeff over at Tough Thumbs. And uh, yeah, take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>